वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर्टीन डैश नाइन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन इनर्जी मैथड्स एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द टॉरिजिनल स्ट्रेन इनर्जी इन ए थर्टी सी स्टील शॉफ्ट द शॉफ्ट हैज रेडियस ऑफ फोर्टी मिलीमीटर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट एट दिस एंड वी हैव एट किलो न्यूटन इंटू मीटर टॉर्क दैट इज काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज एट दिस एंड we have 6 kilo newton into meter clockwise and at this point we have 12 kilo newton into meter torque the length from this end till this is 0.6 and then between this two torque 0.4 and then at the end from this torque it is 0.5 so diameter of shaft is given clear which is 0.4 04 meter and it is a36 steel shaft so you have to determine the strain energy due to torsion so let's start with the solution so we know that strain energy due to torsion is equal to sum of t square into l divided by 2 g j where t is torque l is length g is modulus of rigidity and j is polar moment of inertia so we will find the torque in each section let this is point a this is point b this is point c and this is your point d so what we are going to find we will find the torque in section ab first so what if i cut this beam or uh, this shaft over here and draw the pre body diagram so it will be like this this is for section ab so i will also write it for section ab so you can see this is the axis clear so at this end we have counter clockwise torque which is 8 kilo newton into meter so in order to balance it counterbalance it so we will have a clockwise torque which will be like this clear and this torque will be equal to tab so how you will find this tab by using equation of equilibrium this will be x axis sum of all moment about x axis will be equal to 0 or sum of all torque about x axis will be equal to 0 taking the counter clockwise torque as positive so 8 kilo newton will be positive minus tab will be negative their sum must be equal to 0 so tab will be equal to 8 kilo newton into meter this is the torque ab that will be generated in section ab now what we will do is that we will section it between b and c so for section i will write for section bc so if i section it so the beam will be like this clear this will be the axis this will be x axis here at point a you will be having a counter clockwise torque which is 8 kilo newton into meter this is your point b where you have a clockwise torque which is equal to 6 kilo newton into meter and at point c you will be having let we will take this torque you can see this is 8 km counter clockwise and this is 6 so net torque will be clockwise this will be equal to tbc so how you will find this tbc by using equation this will be equal to 0 so 8 kN into meter is positive torque minus 6 minus tbc will be equal to 0 so from here tbc will be equal to 2 kilo newton into meter this is the torque that will be generated in section bc now the final thing is that we will find the torque in section cd portion so for that we will cut it and we will draw the free body diagram of this shaft clear again this will be the axis clear this is point a where you have counter clockwise torque 9 8 kilo newton into meter this is your point b where you have a clockwise moment which is 6 kilo newton into meter this is point c where you have again clockwise torque of 12 kilo newton into meter so our net torque which will be tcd will be equal to counter clockwise it will be counter clockwise tcd clear so how you find that 
again you will apply this equation of equilibrium in order to find TCD so 8 minus 6 minus 12 plus TCD is equal to 0 so 18 minus 8 is minus 10 so TCD is equal to 10 kilo Newton into meter now you have all the torque so what you uh, what we are going to do will use this equation so this equation will become strain energy due to torsion will be equal to TAB square L over 2G LAB plus TBC square into LBC over 2GJ plus TCD square LCD divided by 2GJ. Since material is same and the diameter is same, so we will take out 1 over 2G as common. So this will become equal to T A B T square A B into L A B plus T square B C over L into L B C plus T square C D into L C D. Now what is the value of G? We have been given A36 steel clear so from property mechanical property table we will get the value of g so you have to go to the book at, at the end of book there is mechanical average mechanical property table and from here we can see a36 steel and the value is 75 gigapascal for this g so i will write down 75 gigapascal and that is equal to 75 into 10 to the power 9 pascal now what is J? J is polar moment of inertia and it is equal to pi by 2 c power 4 where c is radius. As we have been given diameter which is 0 0.04 meter. So c will be equal to d divided by 2 and this c will be equal to 0 0.02 meter. So j will become equal to pi by 2 0 0.02 power 4. Okay. okay this is the radius sorry this is radius so this will be 0 0.04 so again radius is directly given c is equal to 0 0.04 not 0 0.02 so this will be also 0 0.04 so now you can put the value over here so strain energy due to torsion will be equal to 1 over 2 multiply by 75 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by j which is pi by 2 0 0.04 power 4 into tab so tab is 8 kilo newton so 8 kilo newton is 8000 newton square into length of ab which is 0 0.6 you can see this is 0 0.6 length of BC 0 0.4 and that is 0 0.5 for CD plus TABC which is 2, 2 k kilo newton which is 22,000 newton into meter so 2,000 square multiply by 0 0.4 plus TCD is 10 kilo newton which is 10,000 newton into meter multiplied by length is 0 0.5 okay so when you solve this you will get strain energy due to torsion comes out to be 149 joules and this is the amount of energy that will be stored in this shaft due to this applied torque and that was all about this problem 14-9 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching and supporting me.